Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can duplicate records in Power Apps any given number of times. So in my case, I had a start and end date in my collection and based on the number of days between those dates, I wanted to create a record for each of those days. So for each record, the start and end date were gonna be different. So I needed to have some way of duplicating a different number of times for each record. So let's see how we can do that in Power Apps. So in the OnStart property, I'm just gonna set this up by creating a collection. So we're gonna use Clear Collect to do that. And we're gonna create a collection called My Collection, or My Records, rather. And we're gonna manually create this. So we're gonna use the table function, and I've just got some stuff in my clipboard for that. And let's close the table function and the clear collect. And so this has three records in it. So each record just has two fields. One's my text, so we can see that we are actually duplicating something. And this my number is gonna be the number of times that we duplicate this record here. Now to duplicate, we actually need a new collection to send the duplicates into. So we're gonna also use clear collect for that and I'm just going to copy this and we're going to call this duplicates so my duplicates and here I just need to set this collection up so to define a collection we actually need to collect it in power apps and so I'm just going to have one record here and then immediately after I'm going to clear that record out just so we have our uh, collection ready to go. And now that we've got that set up, let's go to our on start property and run this. So we have those collections ready to go. And now let's come to a screen here and we're going to add a couple things. So we're going to add a button to actually duplicate our values and we're going to add a gallery so we can see those. Now in our gallery, let's go to the items property and set that to our duplicates. And I'm gonna put this over here, make it a little bigger. And let's add in our card here, let's add a label so we can actually see these. And let's add another label. And this one's gonna be my text. And this one, let's actually go back to our on start. And instead of my numbers here, actually I'm gonna have item number as a field. Let's rerun that. And here, let's have item number. All right, let's go to our button and let's actually set up a formula that's gonna duplicate our rec records uh, our given number of times. So to do that, we're gonna use the for all function. So for all allows us to iterate over a table of records and then perform some action. So we want to go through all our records, so my records, and then in order to reference a record inside our for all, there's a handy function, the as function, which allows us to name our record. So I'm gonna call this my record. And then inside our for all function, we actually need to use another for all to create each duplicate. So let's use a for all function. And what we need for this so we're gonna iterate over a sequence of values. So there's a function called sequence that we're gonna to use to dynamically create our sequence based on the my number field in our record. And so we can reference that by my record dot my number. And so that's gonna create a sequence of that uh, number of records for us. And we're gonna start our sequence at one and we're gonna increase it by one each time. 
And again, let's name this as my sequence. And what we're gonna do for each of those is we're gonna patch something to our collection. So let's use the patch function. So that's gonna allow us to create a new item in our duplicates collection. So let's patch to the my duplicates collection. And to create a new item, instead of updating one, you need to use the defaults function for that. And then we need to specify the record that we want to add. So my text, let's set that as my record dot my text. And then we have uh, another field in here, item collection or sorry, item number. And let's set that as our sequence number. So my sequence and there's only one field in the sequence that we create with the sequence function and it's called value. So let's use that. And then we can close off our patch function, close our for all and close our outer for all. So let's go over what this is doing. So for each record in that record uh, table that I set up in the on start, and th that could be whatever data source you want, what we're gonna do is for each of those records, we're going to create a new sequence of values. And that sequence is gonna be based on the value in this record here. So that was specified in our on start when we created our collection. So that's gonna be this value here for our first record and this value here for our next one, etc. Let's go back to our button. So it creates that sequence and then for each value in that sequence, we're gonna add a new record into our duplicates collection with the patch function. All right, let's see if this actually works. So let's hold the Alt key and click on this button. And let's just make this smaller so that we can get them all on screen. So there we go. You can see that the first record was duplicated three times. The second record was duplicated two times and the last record duplicated four times. So that's how you can duplicate records any given number of times based on your data. What you need to do is use a for all and you actually need to use nested for alls with a patch function and then patch that into a new collection. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Power Apps videos like this one. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.